to welcome in Rogers Healy, owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. So what are we looking at when we look at real estate? I mean, it used to be such a great safe haven. What's been changing over the last uh, four to six weeks? I think it's turning into something that's even safer. And the good news is right now, we don't have real estate to blame for the financial shakedown. So I think people are really going and, and to kind of con contrary to what the gentleman right before me said, I think people are going to be finding a way to put their money into real estate more than they ever have before because it is a more secure and tangible asset. Yeah, and you know, the new home sales numbers, the prior month was revised, the January month was revised to 13 year highs. I mean, there was really a lot of optimism, but how can we move real estate? Everybody's sort of trapped in their homes. They can't tour, maybe virtual tours. I don't know. How's anything going to move? The most creative people are going to win, as always. And I, I think people like us in, in DFW here in, in the great state of Texas, we're going to continue to find ways to market our properties that are more advanced than, than other real estate agents. It's the virtual tours, it's the video tours, and it's also getting our sellers involved with us in a different capacity than they ever have been before, whether it's residential or commercial property. So, yeah, it's going to take a creative approach. It's probably going to take a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, people are still needing to move, whether it's in Texas, it's in New York or it's across the, you know, it's across the globe, people still need housing, but we're gonna see a slowdown probably the next two to three weeks until people get their grips about it and we really know what's going on. And I think that the uptick is gonna happen, you know, late spring where normally it happens in early spring. Yeah, and that's a seasonal thing. I mean, we usually, spring is such usually a great time. Um, obviously, we've had the 30% sell-off and uncertainty that people have had to face in their unemployment or employment situation. I mean, I think that's interesting. But it, when you talk about the sell-off that we've seen, are people being more cautious or is now a good time to really look around and buy something? Yeah, it just depends. I think people that have been, you know, liquid heavy for a while, they've been waiting for an adjustment. And I think that they're gonna go and put their money in something like real estate to where the deal in real estate is gonna be with people that put all their eggs in their basket and they had stocks, they had bonds, they had dividends, whatever. And now they're gonna go and try to liquidate as much as they can to go and get a good deal in real estate. So yeah, I do think it's gonna go and, and, and see a pretty big change, but I think the market's gonna be really steady. But my biggest prediction for the short term is the seasons are gonna change. The spring and summer normally are the busiest we've seen, you know, since I've been doing it for 20 years, but I think the fall and the winter are gonna be the busiest quarter, you know, fourth quarter we've ever seen in the history of this industry. I mean, when we talk about mortgage rates and what kind of mortgages people can get, I know everybody's nickel and diming trying to get the absolute lowest mortgage possible. Um, but what would be a good range? I mean, clearly we're at record lows, and I know everybody's trying to get the lowest, lowest levels. But what would yeah. be fair range for what period of time? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to see rates go below probably 4.5%. And, and, and people realize this, the, the backbone of our economy is the real estate market really it's the residential real estate markets so the, the government the economy the people in the white house the people that are way smarter than me are going to make sure people are stimulated to continue to go and move in the country because it's going to go in and create jobs create revenue you know and create you know really an economic positivity that we've seen now for a long time but now the positivity is just like hey guys still move you might not be able to get the best deal but we still want to make sure you can qualify for something that's out there I wonder what the home builders face going forward. I mean, with the fact that there's not people to do inspections, they may have back backlogs for lighting or plumbing or, you know, government permits or, you know, I wonder how that may hit those home builders. You think they'll be okay? I think it's going to be tough. I think the thing that people have not really talked about with the home building and new constructions, a lot of the products we rely on are from overseas and those people are backlogged at least two months now in, in you know in asia we haven't talked about italy and those other countries that are you know still feeling the the, the unfortunate effects of it right now so i think that the home building industry is going to go and take a shot you know pretty significantly which is going to make the resale market probably do this where people really wanted new now they just want something that's available uh so yeah i do think that that's going to that's going to be you know an interesting case study here coming up What's your 10 second best leave us with advice? Uh, buy real estate and wait. Don't wait and buy real estate and stay home. People like me help you guys find your home and home is where the heart is. Be careful, stay home, but realize if you need a move, you need a realtor, people like you know my company here in DFW, 
they can help you out, but it's okay to just press pause for just a little bit and play it safe. Got you. Rogers Healy, owner Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. Wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me here.